Welcome everyone, and in today's video, we'll be discussing if Battlefield 4 is better than a brand new Battlefield Hardline. But we're gonna find out, so just stay tuned. Alrighty guys, welcome back, and in today's video, we'll be discussing if Battlefield 4 is better than a brand new Battlefield Hardline. So with that said, let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty guys, welcome back to yet another Verge video, and in today's video, we'll be discussing if Battlefield 4 is better than the brand new Battlefield Hardline. So let's jump straight into this, so Battlefield 4 is overall an amazing game, it's been out for over a year now, and honestly, I've never been to Battlefield 4 before, I've actually just started playing it last night, since the Battlefield beta came out last night for Battlefield Hardline, and honestly, I played it all night long, and honestly, I'm becoming a Battlefield fan instead of a Call of Duty fan. Now I'm going to tell you exactly why Battlefield is going to be better than Call of Duty. And honestly, Battlefield is just like GTA, while Call of Duty is just like some kind of war game. Uh, the new Advanced Warfare is just basically like Halo mixed in with uh, Titanfall and a Call of Duty series and just isn't very good anymore. So, I decided to go back over to Battlefield. I've never played Battlefield before, as I said. All my friends have told me how crappy it was. Then all of a sudden I start playing it and I'm like, holy crap, dude. This is an amazing game. My friends have been lying to me this entire time. And basically, the life story right here is basically, play the game for yourself, don't go off of whether people are talking about the game, just play it for yourself, make your own opinion of the game, and just go on with that. So that's something to keep in mind if your friends are talking about new games, and you guys have not played them yet, definitely advise playing them for yourself to check them out for yourself. So let's get back into the discussion. So basically, Battlefield Hardline has just come out last night, they actually released a beta last night, and basically, it looks the exact same thing as Battlefield 4. Overall, it just kind of looks like they added like two or three more in like uh, game modes and stuff like that. So overall, it's basically the exact same game, and I don't exactly know why they're actually doing this. I've actually <laughs> I've actually called it myself uh, the Battlefield 4 DLC because basically it's just a DLC. I mean, it's just a few more game modes with a different title, so it just could be a DLC. And honestly, that's exactly what I think it actually is. I don't know why they put a new title in there and stuff like that. They should have just kept Battlefield 4. And then added this Battlefield Hardline crap into the actual game itself. So basically throughout this video I was actually going to discuss uh, what's better between the two games. But honestly, they're pretty much the same games. I mean honestly, it's just new game modes, the same graphics, same stuff like that. There's like maybe one more map that's new. It's just really not a great game. Like honestly, it's great gameplay. I mean, I really do love Battlefield now. But is it the exact same thing? Yes, I definitely think it's the exact same thing. And should you guys go out and buy $60 worth of this game, no, I don't think you guys should because Battlefield 4 is definitely the same thing as Battlefield Hardline. And it, I don't know if it's just because it's the beta and the graphics are kind of like slimmed down and they didn't add all the stuff in yet. But basically, we'll have to find out when Battlefield actually comes out and I'll be sure to post some videos on my channel of Battlefield Hardline alongside Battlefield 4. Basically a comparison video showing you guys that basically it's the same thing. And if the full game comes out and Battlefield Hardline adds in a whole bunch of stuff, well, then I might be wrong, but for now, I'm definitely right, and it's the exact same game so far. So I brought back these Verge videos by popular demand. Literally, these videos get thousands of views on my brand new channel, and I was like, damn, dude, I have to post this on my main channel, since I have 900 subscribers on here, and I only have 150 on that one. So basically, let's definitely shoot for 50 likes, and at least 5,000 views on this video. I mean, that seems like a lot, since I only get like 150 to 200 views a video. But honestly, every time I post one of these videos, it attracts millions of fans, well not millions, but thousands of fans. And honestly, that's a great feeling to see your video have at least 5,000 views on there. That's awesome. So I appreciate it, guys. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And alongside, hit that like button on this video. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for today's video. I just want to let you guys know that Battlefield Hardline is literally the same thing as Battlefield 4. I don't think you guys should go out and buy $60 of this game. And I don't think you guys should go out buying it without actually playing it to see it for yourself. Because honestly, it looks like the same game with just basically a DLC inside of it. Because like I said, it's just some new game modes alongside some new maps. And basically, that's just a Call of Duty DLC in that type of series. So basically, it's a DLC for Battlefield 4. But then again, you guys can check it out for yourself. And of course, it's only the Battlefield Hardlines. So they could add a whole bunch of stuff in without us even knowing about it, but I guess we'll have to find out when Battlefield Hardline comes out in the full game on all consoles. So yeah guys, make sure you guys leave a comment down below, and be sure to leave your opinion of the brand new Battlefield Hardline beta, and be sure to check out the game for yourself, because it's actually available on all consoles, so make sure you guys download that, it's going to take a little while, it's actually 10 gigs, it's going to be roughly about an hour, but if you guys have really, really slow internet, 
you guys should definitely get on that right now because it's going to take you a long time. It took my buddy five hours to actually download this game and it's only 10 gigs. So make sure you guys jump on it right now if you guys want to play it before the beta ends. And with that said, we have come to the end of the video once again, guys. But don't worry, I'll see you guys later with one more Advanced Warfare video. Make sure you guys go check out my brand new channel for lots of exclusive content and Xbox One games. But like I said, that's all for today's video. This one happiness. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.